Hey, what's up, guys? This is a short video, but I recently rank 5 my Falcon and took him into the Labyrinth to test his lock on mechanic. And gotta say, it's very impressive. Um, and the way he stacks cruelty up to 101 um, is very nice. So basically, um, he's in. The way he works is he can activate a lock on for, I think, well, I don't know how long, like. 14 seconds I think it is or something then again science it's like 20 or something like that and what this does is it turns off ability accuracy for a hundred percent so basically the way I do this fight is just get my lock on Ant-Man and then just smack into him and he just barely glances or he glances the hits but they still crit it's kind of weird um so it still says it glanced but they really just don't it's kind of weird but um, and you can see every time he's glancing, I'm building up cruelty, um, and then it goes up to 101 max, and yeah, um, there's not much, that much to say, but he can literally be used for, like, any fight, um, where you want to just turn off ability accuracy, so I think that's just really cool, and, um, yeah, he, he hits pretty hard once you start getting him ramped up, I mean, look at that, I'm getting, like, 15 to 16k mediums um, towards the end of this fight right now. I'm at 14.7k But it's just gonna slowly go up uh, the second hit of his special two will always crit so it's pretty nice um, And yeah, he um can kill labyrinth uh, ant-man uh, Before he even gets to a second phase which I do think Aegon struggles to do if I can remember correctly um so yeah, um, he's pretty OP. Um, he's a really cool character. There's gonna be a lot more stuff for him in the future of the game. I'm thinking. So yeah, he's just really fun to play. Um, he stacks damage pretty easily, and he just has a basically like a permanent um, what's it called? Ability accuracy reduction that you can just continuously activate. Um, the cooldown is like eight seconds, so you just gotta like back off for a bit. It's not that not that long of a wait. And a lot of the annoying characters you want to turn off ability accuracy or like evade and shit like that are science characters. So for a lot of those fights, you're going to get that 22 second duration, I think it is, instead of 14 or 16. Um, so yeah, he's just pretty cool. Um, I like him. I, I'm going to look at Gambit next, but for now, he's already at rank 5. Um, I had the resources, so I kind of just threw it into him. Um... I don't know. I might use him for some shit in the past. I don't know what I'm going to use him for, but he's fun. I'll give you that. He is definitely fun. Also, his lock-on mechanic makes your damage, like, a lot more. Like, right there, my medium was 10k crit, and then when I have lock-on, it's, like, 17... Or it's, like, 16k crit. So, it's, like, a fat... It's, like, a nice um bonus damage. It's, like, 60% more damage. So, it's pretty fun. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. So, yeah, this is a one-shot... Um, don't really have much else to say. I'll upload more gameplay of him when I get more, if I do. But this is just a quick showcase to show you that he's extremely viable for like some of the most annoying matchups in the game. Um, just the ability to turn off characters' ability accuracy to 100% is just extremely nice. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm going to leave this playing for another like minute to see if you want to watch the rest of the kill. But yeah, I'm done talking. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.